What's up everybody, Evan Yuan here with week 6 of Fortnite Season 8 and we got a few changes going on here. As you can see the Fort Nightmares event is happening for the third year and let's start with the dailies. The dailies also changed again. So no, we, we still have the free quests from one character, random character, but now instead of the five quests or certain quests from a certain rarity, we have all these four quests here. They also changed back from 30k XP to 45k. The weekly changed back from 50k to 75k, and they said they are going to change the place top 10 with friends and spin bars. I imagine it's going to change once the clock is out for me, which is Wednesday. It's probably going to change for you once you watch this video. So here we got Fort Nightmares. We got two weeks to do these. Uh, so November 2nd is going to be. We need to do free quests to get those rewards. The free quests are these ones. The Collect Candy and the Witch Broomstick. We did this last time. They are located in these witch houses. I don't know if they're in the same location they were last year. They're not showing in the map right now. But they're pretty clear. If I find one in these recording, I'm going to show it to you. But it's pretty simple. Oh, here we got some candy. Look at that. So I was wrong. Candies can be found on... In front of houses, like Pleasant Park, or Retail Row, or Holly Hedges. We just gotta destroy these little containers. And you just need to collect them, thankfully. There we go, that's done. So the huts that used to exist last year doesn't exist anymore. And you can find broomsticks as floor loot. So hopefully I can find one. I believe you need to find five. No, you just need to land. Okay. So, yeah, the thing that I said, they don't exist anymore. So here is a broom, witch broom. You can find it as floor loot anywhere. And all you have to do is press R2 to jump and fly. You need to land five times yeah five times it has a 20 seconds cooldown so we also got the dark jonesy oracle speak punch card and the ariana grande monster hunter punch card they are part of the fort nightmares to get those rewards so they look like pickaxes but i imagine they are gonna just stay there you know as regular characters you got this horde rush I, I don't know what it is yeah i'm not gonna show that guys because it doesn't even give you xp if you're interested it's mostly just playing the game so you know if you want to do that you do that uh and finally you got the ghostbusters afterlife event to promote the movie coming out soon and they added a character containment specialist you also have two weeks to do this. The actual character apparently is gonna leave in two weeks. So do this fast. So they added Ariana Grande this week. But the Dark Jonesy, as you know, probably know, is already on the map. But like I said before, I thought they were going to add more quest lines, more storylines per character. So here we got this new quest line for Dark Jonesy. But if you go here... This is the old one. So if you didn't do the old one, it's still going to be available. I imagine you can rotate between the two. And I imagine they're going to start doing this now. Just stop adding characters. I don't know. We'll see. But certainly have more quests for the same characters, right? So we're going to do this. Let's do Arena Grande first. She is located on Believer Beach. So oh, here we go, Ariana Grande sells gold automatic sniper rifle and gold assault rifle, damn. 
Stage 1 collect a record and place in a turntable. Let's see, does it show? So here are the locations. I want to see if I can do them all in here. There's one location in Believer Beach. Hopefully I don't have to go all the way to the other places. So here is the record. Is it turntable right here? Yes. There you go. Very easy. I don't have to go all the way to the other spots. So here is another location for the record and the turntables. There you go. Record, turntable. Right with Sparkle Main right here. Again, easier if you just do that, you know. But maybe if you wanna start, if you get the quest on Team Rumble, you can do it here, I guess. It's up to you. And here is the last record and turntable. It's on Retail Row. Retail Row. Stage 2, study the caretaker's foot footprints. So we got one location here as well. I think this time I'm gonna have to do both. More than one location, please. Oh, it's these ones. Okay. So that's one. It's a big monster, apparently. So I'm gonna have to do the other. Let's go to Holly Hedges. I'm gonna show all locations to make it easier for you, if you need to. But for me, I'm just gonna stay. There you go, right in Holly Hedges. Right here, this house. So here are the alternative caretaker's footprints. Here's one on Pleasant Park. Bony Barbs. Craggy Cliffs. Corny Crops. Of dirty docks right here. Retail robe. Lazy Lake. Caddy Corner. and Misty Meadow. So again, you're gonna need two of them. You don't need to get them in the same match. They're pretty far apart. You should probably go for the Believer Beach Holly Hedges like I did, but if you really need, these are the locations. Stage three, collect symbols from eliminated cube monsters. So we're gonna have to go to the sideways or an anomaly. Let's go to the anomalies faster for me. So I believe the symbols are when you kill the mon- oh, no. Oh god. No, that's the big guy. Come on. Oh, these are the symbols. Three. Same five. Three. There you go. That's five. Pretty easy. Get the easy guys. Stage 4. Reveal the command symbol. So as you see, there's one on Believer Beach. Try this again. So I believe you gotta emote 
looking at each thing? Is that? What did I just do? Oh my god. I have no idea what I just did. So I'm doing this on a second account to try to understand what you need to do. It's just it's not just emoting. So each thing will tell you what to do. So this one I believe is running. This one is crouching. There you go, crouching. This one swinging pickaxe. Do I need to be in the middle? Come on. Maybe I need to do both. Jumping. What? Wow. Big eggs. What is happening? It counted there. What? Man, I don't like this. It count. Maybe it's in, in, in an order? I don't know, man. But as you can see, it's not just emoting. It, if it shows you an emote, you don't need to do the emote they're showing you. Just any emote you, will work. So as you saw there, jumping, crouching, swinging the axe. I'm sure there are other things. So here is another location for the reveal the command symbol. So it's in retail role. Here's another command symbol on Misty Meadows. Here's a Whipping Woods command symbol. And this is the last possible command symbol on Corny Crops. So stage five, launch signal flares. There's one right here. I'm gonna show the other locations as well, but let's go to this one. Here it is, signal flare. This is a reference, because I couldn't find it. Oh, I need to do three of them, that's great. That's cool. Nice, that's one here, and... Wow, they are very far away. So here's the signal flare on, on Craggy Cliffs. So this challenge is going to be really hard to do on, on the same match. Because they are so far apart. You know, you gotta worry about the storm or, or get lucky somehow, I don't know. So yeah, I couldn't do it in on the same match. So here we are, we're going to get the third one that we need. I'm gonna show the, the last two on Battle Labs for you if you need to do that. Here it is. Here is a location near Dirty Docks. And here is a location near the weather station and that is it for ariana grande grande i don't know let's move on to dark jonesy so dark jonesy second quest line the oracle speaks again he's uh, still on steamy stacks So here we go, Dark Jonesy. You can choose between the quests, collect scrolls at different IO bases, which makes more sense doing like that than you know the way I thought it was. The IO bases I showed you already, 
we're gonna go to this one first that is closer the, the rest as you can see pretty far away we don't need to do this in the same match thankfully we need two of them so let's go to this one that is, seems to be closer here's another one that's it so here and here so stage two use a shadow stone then recover their spitted vessel let's go here so shadow stone are the things that make you invisible or the shadow form you're gonna see it so there these ones the cubes now i have no idea where these so you can also go to whipping woods later go back here cover nice let me show you in the map exactly where it is All right so stage three touch a cube so all the cubes converged in the middle of the map so we're gonna go there so here in the middle of the map is cube town and it's all cubes so we're just gonna touch wait do the little cubes count doesn't seem like it oh it's the big ones oh there you go that's a cube right let's touch this one just make sure there you go that's it Stage 4, destroy the corruption cluster and all corruption. Okay. So these are the fragments. You gotta hit them until the cluster appears. Let's do this. Nope. Okay. <laughs> so as you saw, there are three locations around the conversions. So stage five, return the spirit vessel to the Oracle and hear his vision. So the Oracle is Dar Jonesy. We're going to go back to him. And finish his quest line. So here we are back with Dark Jonesy. Let's finish this. My vision is now clear, but I bring dark tidings. Two paths lie ahead of you. On one path, I see sacrifice and loss. On the other, total annihilation. Okay. There you go, Dark Jonesy, second quest. Now I got two quests to choose from. The first quest is way easier if you want to do for the daily stuff. But anyway, let's move on to the Ghostbuster Afterlife. So now finally the last character, Containment Specialist, as part of the Ghostbuster Afterlife questline. You can only do him for the la for next two weeks, November 2nd. Okay, so he is over at Camp Cod, right here. So here is Containment Specialist. The game actually mistaken the location. So he can patch you up. And stage one, deploy seismo seismographs in Misty Meadows or Caddy Corner. So you need to do three of them. We're gonna go to Caddy Corner because the next stages are gonna 
do retail row and the dirty dogs probably not gonna be able to do it because the zone but let's try so here we got free seismographs on caddy corner i'm gonna show the other free on misty metals in case you need it There you go. So here we got the free seismographs on Misty Meadows. Here's one. Here's two. And here is three. Stage two, exterminate mini puffs with a pickaxe in a sludgy swamp, lazy lake, or retail row. We need to do three of them. We're gonna try going to retail row because it's a good path. If you can't do this path, do this because the next step is gonna involve dirty docks. They should be right here near, near Joe's, my guffins. Oh, there you go. Very easy to find. Two and God. Oh my, okay, three, four. Is that it? You just need three, but I believe there's there's four here. Or five, man. I'm also gonna show you the ones I'm sludgy and lazy. Here are the mini puffs on Lazy Lake. Look at that. They're on a barbecue. Marshmallows on a barbecue. They're so cute. It's five of them. All right. And the last location with the mini puffs is on this large swamp right here. Just drinking some slurp, you know what I mean? Look at that. <laughs> so stage three, retrieve mechanical parts by destroying cars. Hopefully I can find a car here on retail row. The problem with the cars is that they take a lot of damage. Oh boy. Let me try to shoot it. Yeah, nice. Don't get close to it, because it's gonna explode. I need five parts, oh boy. Oh great. The thing is right in, on top of the part. Oh, there you go. Don't kill me, sir. That's one. There's another one. Let it explode. Nice. Thankfully, the cars that you can't drive you can destroy them for this. There's a ready to destroy one here. Someone else is doing the challenge. There's gotta be more. Oh. Gonna need you, buddy. Sorry. Stage 4. Place Ghostbuster signs in Holly Hedges, Dirty Docks, or Pleasant Park. So as I, as I told you, 
I was gonna try to go door dirty dock. There's no way I can survive this right now. But I'm gonna show you all the locations as usual. Dirty dogs. We need free signs. I'm so dead. Oh, I can look at the mini map. Oh man, I'm so dead. That guy doesn't have a gun. Alright. Oh god. Do you have a gun, sir? You do. You do have a gun. But you can't shoot. Oh man. Ooh. Last sign. Do you have a gun? You do. Let me just kill, just get this. There you go. Free signs. Here's the Pleasant Park locations. Free signs. Yeah. And lastly, we got Holly Hedges sign, sign, and sign. Let's get out of here. Just kidding. Stage five, deploy a ghost trap. Turns out there's a ghost trap in almost every POI, including dirty docks. So let's go back get this I think it's like right here guys there you go we're gonna do it and it's done Ghostbusters we did it is that it no ghost okay so I guess that is it guys let me see what we got I think it's an emote or something so here are the ghost traps alternative locations misty meadows Right in the middle of the map. Lazy Lake. Caddy Corner. Retail Row. Corny Crops Craggy Cliffs Pleasant Park Bony Burbs Weeping Woods Holly Hedges and Believer Beach. Yeah, no, it's a back bling, no ghosts. It's so like a hologram. Okay, so that's it for this week. Three characters, you know, two characters. At, oh, wow. Wait. The containment guy is already left. He's not even here anymore. So imagine if I go there, he's not going to be there. I figure. So they just added Ariana Grande. 
another quest for Dark Jonesy. That's that. All right. So thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I see you next week. Goodbye.